Welcome back to the Dragon Den, my loyal Dragonites. King of Dragons 5000 is back with another action figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the McFarlane Tours DC Multiverse, The Justice Buster. Here we have the Justice Buster pose and out of the packaging and it is an impressive looking figure. Unfortunately the Justice Buster does not come with any accessories so let's actually move on to its details. The Justice Buster is looking very nice and I absolutely love what McFarlane has done with this figure. It looks massive and threatening and looks like it could actually take on the Justice League. McFarlane has taken some liberties with designing this Justice Buster but overall it makes the figure look that much better. The head sculpt on the Justice Buster looks very impressive, the detailing on it is phenomenal. We have some panel lining on it which looks very nice and we also have some riveted detail. The eyes on the Justice Buster are also done in this really nice blue shade of color. The torso is also looking very impressive here on the Justice Buster. I love the big bat emblem on the front of the Justice Buster and there is some nice weathering and painted detail on here. The giant shoulder pads on the Justice Buster also carry over some battle damage as well as some riveted detailing. Unlike in the comic, it is lacking the shoulder spikes. The detailing on the back of the Justice Buster is also really nice. We do have some thrusters and some alternate coloration on its spine. The arms on the Justice Buster look very nice and they carry over that same armor plated design. Accurate to the comic, the biceps are rather small and we are greeted with these massive hands. A nice little detail is on the back of the hands we do have this really nice bat insignia. And then its hands are nicely sculpted with a lot of mechanical work going into the fingers. The legs on the Justice Buster do a really nice job of bringing out that armor plated detail. I especially love the sculpt work that went into the knees connecting the thigh to the ankle. The armor plates on the feet look very good as well and the weathering on it is done perfectly. And then finally we have four massive toes on each of the Justice Buster's feet. And those carry over the same armor plated and riveted designs. Though it's not 100% accurate to the comic book, I love the detail work that McFarlane has put into the Justice Buster. The added detail does a great job making this really look like a giant suit of armor. So with the details out of the way, let's compare the Justice Buster to our usual suspects. Here we have the Justice Buster posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and DC Multiverse Superman. Mattel's WWE Elite Series and Mezco's 112th Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. The Lightning Collection White Ranger and the Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And finally we have the McFarlane Toys Justice Buster posed next to the Mattel Justice Buster. So overall the Justice Buster is a massive looking figure and I absolutely love the fact that it's big and broad. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's move on to the Justice Buster's articulation. The Justice Buster has a double ball joint in the head. Arms ratchet out to the side and wood ratchet for a full 360. We have a ratcheted joint for its bicep swivel and a ratcheted joint in single elbow. We have a ball joint at its waist. Ratchet joints kick forward, go back, ratchet out to the side and we have a ratcheted thigh swivel. Ratcheted joint in its knee and then a ratcheted joint in its ankle. And finally we have a slight ball joint in its foot. I'm really surprised that McFarlane Toys went with ratchet joints for the Justice Buster. I love the ratchet joints because it makes for a much more solid figure. Though it is quite limited being a really bulky suit of armor. So with everything said and done about the Justice Buster, let's actually move on to my final thoughts. The McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Justice Buster is a prime example of what good McFarlane's work can do. The sculpt work that went into this figure is phenomenal and I absolutely love the fact that it does have some weathered paint applications. All the armor paneling and all the rivets does make this seem like it's an actual functional suit of armor. The battle damage on it also makes it look like it's seen its share of fights. And being a giant suit of armor, this figure unfortunately is rather limited in articulation. It actually has no hand joints to speak of and despite looking like its fingers are articulated, they're not. Add to it, the knees and ankles on this figure does take some getting used to. 
But overall, the craftsmanship that went into this figure is phenomenal, and I absolutely love what McFarlane did here. If you're a fan of Batman Endgame or just want a giant suit of armor to take on the Justice League, the Justice Buster is just for you. The Justice Buster is starting to hit stores at the time I'm making this video, so if you already haven't done so, definitely pick up the Justice Buster armor. So with that being said, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and check out all my McFarlane Multiverse videos. Check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos, videos, recent pickups, and as always, ring that bell so you never miss another video. And until next time, my fellow Dragonites coming from the Dragon Den, I'm King of Dragons 5000 reminding you to redesign, rebuild, and reclaim. I'll see you next time.